Begin in mountain pose, eyes closed. Bring the lips together. Take a big inhalation. And a nice long exhalation. Spend a moment at the start of your practice to feel centered, to feel grounded. With eyes closed, notice and become aware of the ebb and flow as you sway from right to left, forwards to backwards. And just try to bring your body, your mind into a place of stillness, of center. Those familiar with Ujjayi breath, begin to engage that now, as well as our bandhas. Those unfamiliar with that, let's find our root lock first. Let's find our pelvic floor muscles. We draw our perineum and our pelvic floor up. And then we pull our belly button in. So we begin to blink our eyes open, take a second deep breath in. And deep breath out. Breathe in, reach fingertips nice and high. Reach. Take our right hand, wrap it around the left wrist, and then as we breathe out, gently bow the spine over to the right side, lengthening through the obliques, the rib cage as that lengthens. Return back to centre, firmly press the palms up. Take a breath out, reach to a back bend, and then hands back to Sama Stati here. Curl tailbone under. Bring hands up to mountain pose, breathe in, reach all the way up. Left hand this time takes hold of the right wrist and then pull in over the left shoulder, let the rib cage open up, the obliques lengthen. Search the fingertips. Return back to centre. Hands over hard into mountain pose. We're going to begin salutation B, so you know a scar B. Sweep down, touch fingertips down towards the mat. And then as we hold in Utkatas and flare the fingertips, breathe in, hands over heart, breathe out, dome the spine to a forward fold. Breathe in, let the chest rise, root the palms, step or jump and float back into plank. Bend the elbows, lower down to Chaturanga Dandasana. And breathe in to Udra Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Roll over toes, breathe out. Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Push three palms, lengthen the spine. Take a breath in, keep the hips nice and parallel to the mat. And then as we breathe out, sweep forward, solar foot in between both hands. Left heel down to the mat for one breath of our flow, open to Virbhadrasana. Release palms, step back to our plank, float down. Breathe in to upward facing, eyes gaze up. Breathe out, downward facing. Breathe in, left heel into the air, step forward, solar foot in between both hands. Right heel onto the mat, open again to Virbhadrasana. Sink the hips down, try to keep the knee and hip as parallel as we can. Open palms, roots, step back, breathe out, float down, Chaturanga Dandasana, breathe in, upward facing, eyes gaze up, breathe out, downward facing. Take five breaths here. This is a good time to center us, focus on the intensity and the physicality of our practice. Understand that this more advanced work ch challenge of practice will be very exercise based, very dynamic and very physical. It will require lots of breath, lots of focus. Bend the knees, eyes gaze forward, step or jump forward. As the feet land, breathe in, look forward, breathe out, bow the head, forward fold. Bend the knees, sink the hips nice and low, back to Utkatasana chair, reach, upward facing salute, take us back to mountain pose. Let's just do one more salutation. Sweep the fingertips down, reach all the way. Hands over heart, lift, bow the head, forward fold. Breathe in, let the spine rise. Breathe out, push through the legs, slightly deeper forward fold, chin to the knees. Root the palms, step or jump back into plank. Bend the elbows, float down to Chaturanga Dandasana. Slide the chest forward, Udra Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. And then roll over toes, Adha Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Breathe in, right heel into the air, keep the hips parallel to the mat. Step forward. Remember our warrior postures, powerful, strong postures. Sink a little deeper this time. Open palms, reframe the foot. Step back, float down, Chaturanga. Breathe in, upward facing, eyes gaze up. Breathe out, roll over toes, downward facing. Breathe in, left heel into the air. Breathe out, step forward, right heel onto the mat. Reach and open 
into Virbhadrasana, Warrior One. Release the palms, step back, final vinyasa for our salutations. Breath in and breath out. Let's take those five breaths. Again, downward facing dog. So in our salutations, downward facing dog becomes our almost root posture, our earth posture. The thing that we base the entire flow and salutation around. It's a time to feel grounded, rooted, to reconnect with breath and to lengthen, open the body up. Bend the knees, step or jump forward. Feet land together, breathe in, look forward. Breathe out, bow the head, deep forward fold. And then to end our salutation, deep chair up. Take us back down, okay, let's begin our vinyasa flow. Breathe in, reach all the way up. Open palms to open heart. Bow the head all the way to our forward fold. Breathe in, look forward. Breathe out, bow the head, deep forward fold. Root the palms, step or float both feet back into our plank. Bend the elbows, float down to Chaturanga. And we're gonna keep that vinyasa all the way through. So as we travel through up dog, Chaturanga, and downward facing dog, that will be our basis of practice. Breathe in, take the right heel into the air. As we bend the knee, bring it towards the chin, hump the spine, rest it onto the chin, and then send it backwards. Once more, bring the knee into the chin as we breathe out, hump the spine, and then send it backwards, final time. Sweep the knee forward, round the spine, hump the chin, and then send it backwards. The third time as we sweep the foot forward, sew the foot in between both hands, root the heel down and open to our higher lunge. From here, we begin to challenge through the glutes. Take a severe badrasan three. See, so warrior three. Hands over heart into prayer. Take that breath. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, pull the tummy in. Realign the hips. Fingertips of the right hand down. Open the hips up. Take us to half moon pose. Try to send the left shoulder to stack over the heart. Lift the heel nice and high. We bend the knee. Place the palm down. And as we step back into our crescent lunge, we gaze forward with a breath in. We sweep the right leg all the way back to our three leg dog. And now we take it into a three leg vinyasa all the way down. Breath in. Upward facing, really let the spine begin to open up. Breathe out, downward facing. Let's take that flow to the left side. Breathe in, left heel into the air. As we breathe out, hump the spine, chin touches the knee, and then we sweep us all the way back. As we breathe out, chin into the knee, hump the spine. Breathe in as the body expands, reach the heel high. Final time, bring the knee in as we breathe out, and then sweep forward. As we sweep forward that final time, root the heel, lower the hips down, press the back heel away, flare the fingertips, take us into that nice high lunge. Then hands over heart, Virbhadras and C. Open us to warrior three, take our balance. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and align the hips. Left palm down, open up the fingertips of the left hand. Try to stack the shoulders one on top of another. Lift the heel high. Bend the knee. As we sweep the third foot all the way back to our three-leg dog, take us for that three-leg vinyasa. Breathe in and breathe out. Walk our hands towards the back of our mat. Heel toe our feet open. Sit down into Malasana. Sit nice and tall. Heels very important that they feel rooted. Hands flared. Take a breath. We're gonna take it into arm balances. Please make sure you feel warm enough. Remember that we only pass through two salutations and then a quick balance sequence. Root the palms down to the mat, lift up onto toes. So bakasana first, sorry, kakasana first. Elbows bent, lift up onto toes and let's take humped spine, bring the heels together and then drop us back. We're gonna try and attempt bakasana now. There's a very slight subtle change, and often these are taught as the same posture. They are very slightly different. Bakasana, we straighten the legs. We use our bandas further to pull the knees tighter into the belly, and the arms remain completely straight. So, for this, take our knees as high as we can into our armpits. Keep the arms nice and straight. We lift up onto the toes, and as the arms are straight, leaning into the posture, we now lift the toes up, very subtle difference. Straight arms, as you can see now. Rock us back. Walk our hands forward, back into downward facing dog. 
root the heels, and then bend both knees, step or jump forward. Take a twist off to the left side. Root the palms down, and we're gonna go for side crow. Bend in the elbows, float both the feet into the air. Catch our side crow, gaze up towards the feet, and then bring us back. Once more, step back into downward facing dog. And I know these arm balances are very challenging to begin with, but there's something that's fairly good to practice for us, particularly when we're in these shorter flows. So once more, now we'll twist to the other side. I'll show you from a different angle. We twist across the knees. So a few twists towards your right hand side, hands rooted, and we're gonna try and wrap both knees against the back of the right arm. Then, as we bend the elbows, keeping the right elbow free, we float. Eyes gaze towards the feet, keep us nice and central, and then take us back for our practice. Step or jump both feet back into our plank, pedal from side to side, separate the fingertips, and deepen into that again, our roots, our grounding, our earth posture, downward facing dog, allow the neck to relax. Bend both knees, step or jump forward, breathe in, look forward, breathe out, bow the head, deep forward fold. Bend the knees, the hips lower, Take us all the way back to that nice deep chair. Reach up, standing postures, hands over hand into prayer. Step the right leg out. Open our stance as though we're going to pass through our warrior dance. Root the heels down, left knee sits over the left ankle, spine sits tall, relax the arms and shoulders. As we take a breath, we gaze over the left hand into Virbha Dress and B. Try to open up that stance. Keep the spine nice and strong. The hips we stack, hips, heart, head and chin. Try and not allow the spine to gape forward. Left palm turns up, right hand behind the back takes hold of the left thigh. We reach our reverse warrior. Take that breath. And then we windmill all the way forward and we take us to extended side angle pose. Rooting the heels down, searching the fingertips further. Windmill us all the way back up. Find strength in that thigh. And again, back to our warrior dance sink us a little deeper. Now we can feel the strength beginning to build in that left thigh. Focus on the flow and on breath. As heart becomes shorter and sharper, even it out. Return back to our warrior two. Reframe the foot, step forward. Breathe in, look forward, breathe out, bow the head. And you should feel a real change to that left side of the body. A real challenge. Sink the hips down, gaze forward, reach all the way to our upward salute. Hands over heart into prayer. Let's continue. Left foot steps back. So before we begin our warrior dance, open up our stance, trying to lengthen our stance a little bit more than normal, try and take the hip as low as we can parallel to the knee. And then spine, you're often aware of this, that we often lean forward into our warrior, sit nice and tall, hips, heart, head, stack them nice and high on top of each other. Relax the arms, gaze back over the left hand, and over to the right. Left hand behind back, it takes hold of the left thigh, and then we reach into the air. Breath, reverse warrior. Sink a little deeper, open the knee, and then as we windmill forward, we reach, extended side angle pose, push the hips forward, take a breath. Windmill all the way back up to warrior two, and then reverse warrior once more. Reach, now we can feel that strength beginning to build in the thigh. Remember, even breath out as we flow. Reach, lengthen, deep breath in. Push through the heel, warrior two. Allow that strength to pass. Really root the palms, step forward. Look forward, take a breath in, breathe out, bow the head, deep forward fold. This time we're gonna lower hips all the way down, place them onto the mat, keeping with the theme of strength and power. We're going to take us to Navasana boat pose. Sequence that really challenges the hips. Lift the feet into the air, sit the spine nice and tall. Try to align the knees and the feet. If we can, turn the palms up, point the toes, flex the toes. Point the toes, flex the toes. Try to find the energy above. We often talk about the solar energy, our heat, our sun. And we do that in just a, most of the time in a symbolic sense but try to lift your heart up to that energy. Flex, point, flex, point. Challenge into the core, flex, point. Final time, if we can, we straighten the legs, 
point the toes, flex, point the toes, flex, point the toes, hug the knees, bow the head. Beautiful forward fold. Let's go for that one more time. Sit the spine nice and tall, float the legs up, palms rooted, point and flex. So knees and heels are aligned to begin with. We're sitting tall, we're trying to find the energy above with our hearts. Then we extend the knees, point, flex, point. And we can feel the strength in our lower abs, we can feel the strength in our thighs. Cross over, bow the head. And let's take us all the way up to shoulder stance. Hug the knees, lengthen as much as we can. Point the toes, and as we've said before, heart, hips, head. If we feel comfortable to do so, take us back into plow and release the lower spine. Close the eyes. As we lift the toes, keep the knees as close to the belly as we can. Slowly, slowly, slowly place each of the vertebrae down onto the mat. Extend through the knees, curl the toes back by our side. We engage our bandas, bend the knees, separate the heels, soles of feet together, palms facing up. Sometimes after these short practices, our hearts can become faster, and some manners a little heavy. Turn to breath. If you're using any mudra in your current practice, feel free to use that now. If not, I want you to let go of the bandas. Focus on the rise and fall of the belly. Allow the hips to begin to unwind and open. Our breath to simmer and settle. The speed and the dynamic nature of our class should be used to help flush the mind, allow it to clear. And now in the stillness, the silence, I want you to find great peace. Take a deep breath in through the belly. And breath out. Let's just take two more breaths. Deep breath in through the belly. Once more, deep breath in through the belly. And deep breath out. Bring the knees together, hug them tight to the spine. Round in the lower spine, lift the head. Gently sway from side to side. Roll back and forth until we can sit up. Final pose. Sukhasana. Sit nice and tall. Feel your way into the posture a little bit, into your back. Have your palms facing up. And for our final moment, what I want you to begin to do is just focus on those final moments of practice. Mindfulness as we notice sensations in the fingertips and the palms of the hands. We return to noticing the subtle nature of breath. As you begin to breathe, I want you to feel that you physically become taller, stronger, more confident. Let the spine rise. Shoulder blades draw back. Tuck the chin back and find the strength in the belly and the heart. In our mind, take a final deep breath in deep breath out. Keep your eyes open. Namaste.